Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to HDR Kids Online. I'm so happy that you're able to join us today. I want to say hello to everyone, and thank you for being here. You can watch us every morning at 10 o'clock, or you can watch it at a later time. And I know that you're missing going to church right now, and you know what? We miss church. We miss having you at church as well. So we've decided that we're going to bring church to you. And since you're not able to go to school for a couple of weeks, well, we're going to do this every day and give you an opportunity to learn more about God. We're going to be having some time of praise. We're going to learn some Bible stories. We're going to learn some verses and do some activities. So right now, if you have your mom's phone or your parents' phone or maybe your brother's sister's or maybe your own phone, I'm going to invite you to... Um, send me a shout out. I'm going to invite you to get connected and to just, you know, put your name on. Let me know that you're watching. And then later on, we'll have a little time so I can say hello to everybody that's been able to join us. So um, we are going to start off with a couple of praise songs. I don't know about you, but I love to sing. I love to praise Jesus. And you know that Psalms 150 in verse 6 says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And ever, in other words, everything and everyone that is breathing praise Jesus. So how about you take a deep breath this morning? Oh, I'm breathing. You're breathing. So that means all of us, we get to praise Jesus this morning. So why don't you stand to your feet, okay? Wherever you're at, stand to your feet. And I'm going to invite you to sing along and praise Jesus with all of your heart. So don't be shy. Nobody's around you. Maybe just your brother, your sister, your mom and dad. Don't be shy. Let's just all praise Jesus. And this is one of my favorite songs. So let's praise him together. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty.
Amen. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, we're going to get this party started. We're going to go to another song. And so I'm enjoying just praising Jesus. I invite you to continue to praise Jesus with us. Let's get this party started. that we can have with Jesus. Amen. So today we're going to get started with our Bible lesson. And our lesson today is found in the book of Daniel. So can anybody guess who we're going to be learning about today? That's right. Daniel. Yes, we're going to learn about Daniel. So uh, Daniel was a young boy, uh, like many of you out there that are watching us today, young boys and young girls. And Daniel went through a very difficult moment in his life. He found himself in a moment where he had to make a difficult and tough decision. And um, today we're going to learn about the decision that Daniel had to make. Because you know what? Many of us have to make decisions. And even though you are young, every day you have to make decisions. You have choices to do what's right, to do what God wants you to do, or perhaps to do what you know the world wants you to do. 
and you have to learn how to make good choices in life. So today we're going to learn through this video and Daniel's life, we're going to learn how he was able to make this very important decision. So let's watch. At that time, King Nebuchadnezzar reigned over the kingdom of Babylon and carried all the Israelites into captivity. He told some of his soldiers to go to the people of Israel to find the healthiest, best educated, and quickest to learn young men so that they could serve the king in whatever way he so desired. The king told his servants, be sure to teach them all the learning, language, and customs of the Babylonians and train them to become the strongest so that they can serve me in my royal palace. I have an idea, the king continued. Give them food from my kitchen. I'm sure that when they eat that food, they will become as wise, strong, and quick to learn as I. All of the young apprentices were happy to enjoy the excellent food on offer at the king's table, but Daniel didn't want to become unclean by eating that food because it had been offered to idols. So he asked the chief officer to allow him to eat other food, but the chief officer replied, I am afraid of my lord the king because he has commanded me to give you food to eat from his kitchen. And what if you end up looking pale and weak and he cuts off my head as a punishment? But Daniel wisely answered, Test me and my friends by only giving us vegetables to eat and water to drink for 10 days. Then compare health to that of the other young men and make your decision according to what you see. The chief officer agreed and put Daniel and his friends to the test for 10 days. He saw how Daniel and his three friends became wiser and stronger than all the others. On the day when the king called all the young men together to test their knowledge and assess the results of the training, he was very surprised. So King Nebuchadnezzar said, After having observed all the young people, I have found that Daniel and his friends are ten times better than all the others, and from now on they will serve in my palace. And so Daniel and his friends stood out among the other young people in the kingdom because of their faithfulness and great wisdom. Yay for Daniel and his friends. Wow, what an amazing Bible story. And we can learn so much from Daniel and his friends that they chose to do what God wanted them to do. Even though they were given many opportunities to eat all this good food and to learn so many things so that the king could be happy with them, they chose to do what God wanted them to do. And just because they chose to do what God wanted them to do, the Bible says that the king honored them. And you know what I have here? What do I have here? What do you see here? The number 10, exactly. And why 10? Because the Bible says in the book of Daniel in chapter 1, verse 20, it says that the king found them to be better, 10 times better than all the other ones. Wow, how amazing. Not one time, not two times, not five times, but the Bible says 10 times better than all the other ones. And you know what? God wants you to be 10 times better in everything that you do. And so I want you to take a few moments right now and stop and think, what would you like to be 10 times better at in your life? Maybe you would like to be 10 times smarter. Maybe you would like to be 10 times stronger. Maybe you would like to be 10 times friendlier. Maybe you would like to be 10 times obedient. Or maybe your mom and dad would like for you to be 10 times more obedient. But you know what? That would be something good for you to want also. So I want you to think, what would you like to be 10 times better at? Just like Daniel and his friends. So right now, if you're with your mom or dad or with an older brother or sister, or maybe you can type, I want you to write on the, on the feed. I want you to write, what would you like to be 10 times better at? I am going to write, I want to be 
10 times wiser. I just wrote that. I want to be 10 times wiser. So can you put on there, what would you like to be 10 times better at? Maybe you would like to be 10 times more helpful right now that you're at home. Maybe you would like to be 10 times more helpful, maybe 10 times more responsible, maybe 10 times more thankful, maybe 10 times more in prayer, um, maybe 10 times more in peace. So I want you to write down right there and send it to me. What would you like to be 10 times better at? Because I want to join with you and I want to pray so that God will help you to be 10 times better in all that you do, just like Daniel and his friends. And so today we have a verse that I want us to memorize, and it's Daniel chapter 1, verse 20. And we're just going to learn a part from it, okay, because it's a longer verse, and uh, but I, there's a special part in it that goes with this Bible lesson that I want you to learn. And that verse is, God found them 10 times better than all. In the, in the Bible, it says he found them because he was talking about the king. He found them 10 times better than all. But I've added God to it because you know what? Now it's God. We want God to find us 10 times better at everything that we do. So that's our verse for today. God found them 10 times better than all. Remember, not one time, not five times, but 10 times better than all. So... I want you to find a creative way to be able to memorize this verse. God found them 10 times better than all. So I was thinking, what could I do to help me memorize this verse? So here at my house, I found that I have some paper, some sheets of paper, and I found a, a scissor and also a marker, and I found some tape. And so I decided to make like a chain link out of paper and also have a printer here. I wrote it, but printing it made it much more neater. So what I did is I printed the words on paper and I made strips out of them and I cut them. Kind of, I try to make them all the same width and the same length. So I made um, strips out of each word. And what I did is I, I formed them into, you know, I joined the two edges and then I taped them with my tape. I was looking for a stapler, but I couldn't find it. So I did find tape, thank you Jesus, and so I taped them. And so what I've done is I've made a chain out of these words and it says, he found them 10 times better than all, okay? He found them 10 times better than all. So this is my creative way to help me memorize today's verse. He found them 10 times better than all. So you at home, uh, look for something. Maybe you have paper and you can do the very exact same thing. Maybe you don't, but maybe you have little rocks outside that you can go gather and maybe you have a marker and you can write each word on one of those little rocks. Maybe, um, you know, you have toys there that you can label and you or Legos. Maybe you have Legos and you can build a tower or a building and you can write or, you know, put these words on each one of those Legos. I don't know, whatever it is that you have at home, but find a creative way that you can learn and memorize this verse because it's important that we learn God's word. It'll help us even when we're going in our difficult moments, uh, when you get bored, when you get frustrated, when you get sad, remember and declare God's word. And you too can be be just like Daniel and his friends and be 10 times and even more better in everything that you do. So now uh, we're going to go to another song. And so now I'm going to invite you. Why don't we just get crazy? Okay. We're getting to the end of our time together this morning. And I pray that you're learning this morning from the Bible that you can choose to be 10 times better than all, especially when you're having to make decisions always choose God. When you choose God and you choose to do what he wants, then he will help you to be 10 times better in everything that you do. So let join me in this next song. Let's get a little crazy. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it.
let's go. to close our time together, but I pray that this Bible lesson will help you remember he found them 10 times better than all. And I want you to learn this verse, okay? And I want you to find your creative way on how to memorize this verse. And I want you to take a picture of it or a video and send it to us, okay? So that we can share it with all the other boys and girls. Maybe some of them don't know how to... Um, how they they didn't couldn't come up with a creative idea maybe your idea can be their idea as well so please send it to us and so before we um dismiss i just want to say hi to everybody that is watching us thank you thank you parents thank you older brothers and sisters for um, helping your children get connected this morning. Thank you also for sharing it to all your nieces and nephews and grandkids and and everybody around. We want to say hi to uh to Vic and Emery that are watching us, we want to say hi to Ferdi and his family that are watching us and all the Nava family. Hello. Um, it's good to see you. And um, Tater Tots Academy, we see you there having a wonderful time praising Jesus. Um, thank you for watching us. And uh, Manabeti, thank you for joining us. Destiny and Faith, we're with you and what you're believing. Um, we're glad to have you with us this morning. Uh, Monica Rechiga, good to have you here this morning. Uh, William, Rincon, and Brianna, we're glad that you're here with us this morning. Itzel, thank you for watching us. And um, Ruby, um, we bless your children, Louise Jr., Gina. We pray for them and all the children. Um, for uh, Minor and Noah that are watching us as well. Um, thank you, Sister Teresa from MCM Austin, and thank you for sharing it with your family as well. Uh, Andres, thank you for joining us. Ileana, thank you for joining us. Rigo, thank you for joining us. Uh, Mana Heidi from Guatemala, Puerto Barrios, gracias por acompañarnos. Um, Amanda, Kayla, thank you for joining us. Audrey from T, thank you for joining us. Seferino, thank you for joining us. Mana Noemi, Briseño, thank you for joining us. Adrian, thank you for joining us. Uh, Manuel, thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing it with all your nieces and nephews. Mana Ana Amador, thank you for joining us. Rosy Juarez, thank you for joining us. Uh, Michelle, thank you for joining us. Adriana, hello. Uh, Jessica Mata, thank you, fa Mata family, for joining us. Maricela Ortega, hello, Josh. Hello, Aliana. Ana, Ana Elena, hello, Ashley from uh, Georgetown MCM in Georgetown, Texas. We thank you all for joining us and, um, Nancy, the Almanza uh, family, Nancy and all the girls, thank you for joining us. Pastora Narvi, thank you for joining us. 
And well, everyone, I loved my time here with you. I pray that you are blessed and remember 10 times better at all. Let me just say a word of prayer for you as we dismiss. Father, I thank you for all these wonderful boys and girls that have joined us this morning. Thank you also for the parents that were here. And I pray that this word will just be in their hearts and that you help them, Lord, to choose in their hearts to always do what honors you so that they can be 10 times better at everything. Also, Isaiah Torres, I saw you on there. Thank you for joining us this morning. I love you all. I bless you. And I, I hope to see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Bye-bye.